Hey guys, it's Comic Goon. I was him doing The Amazing Spider Man issue 674. So let's talk about the issue and see what's going on. Uh, let's talk about the cover first. This is the first issue, first I want to say, this is the first issue after Spider Island. So we're getting into a new story and let's see what that story is. So let's talk about the cover. Uh, the cover, I didn't know. I mean, I was thinking, I wasn't really thinking actually. I didn't really totally look at the cover. So I wasn't thinking this was Vulture, and it kind of isn't, but it kind of is. But now, as you see in the story, you'll see that it is Vulture. But, uh, love that Spider-Man, love the art in this, so let's see what happened in the story. Did like the cover a lot, though. Alright, so let's see. So we're seeing that a lot of people are committing suicide, kind of. But we find out they're not really suicide. Because there are these teen people who are part of this gang of Falcons, I guess. And um, if they're disapproved by the group, they fall and lose their wings. So that's how they die. They're not committing suicide, even though the New York Police Department thinks they are committing suicide. But Carly thinks otherwise. And they're like, let us do our job. Now, Spider-Man is getting caught by... They're, he's solving a mis uh, crime. And uh, the police thinks that he did it. So obviously they still think he's a menace, even though they walk the day in his shoes. And uh, everyone else is trying to deal with the end of Spider Island also. So Kingpin realizes he doesn't have powers anymore. He's mad at that. And we also get to see Spider Island after party pretty much. And we get to see MJ partying up with uh, some people from the Daily Bugle. And we also see... Peter and Carly talk a little and say, you know what, let's have a truce and we'll be friends. And he says, yeah, that's good. Because we're going to be working on a lot of the same uh, crimes and stuff. We could use each other. So I was like, okay, whatever. And then we find out the, the Falcons that have been in this whole issue, these new villains, and who's been trying to get new group people. Because so many people go to New York because they want to see if they can get spider powers. Even though uh, they're saying that Spider Island's over. But now whoever is doing that, they say, hey, join this group. So that was the whole issue of this new villain, and we find out the head of that was the Vulture. So definitely, I'm glad to see the Vulture again, um, classic Spider-Man villain, and I'm excited to see what's going on with this whole new group and how he's ahead of it and uh, what he's going to do with this group. Uh, how is he? Because I don't know what he says in the end. Um, I don't even know if he says anything in the end. We just see that he's the main villain for the story arc. He just says, what did all the little children bring home for daddy? So obviously, he, well the next issue says, the one and only vulture like you've never seen him before. So he has some trick up his sleeve and I'm excited to see what's going on and how Spider-Man's gonna have to deal with this and what's going on there. But he, he's he been trying to follow the suicide thing too, so obviously he's gonna go to Vulture. He's gonna connect that, oh, there's these Falcon things and Vulture's the, uh, the leader of them. So, I thought it was a really good story and um, interesting after Spire Island. We're still getting stuff from Spire Island, which is great, because I don't want to just forget about Spire Island and not mention anything about it. I'm glad they brought this new story arc and connected it kind of with Spider Island and what happened in Spider Island. So, definitely great, great issue in connecting all the previous story into this new story. Great issue. Um, can't wait to see Vulture and what he has to do with all of this. And... I can't wait until next issue and see how the story arc develops and hopefully, again, we don't forget about Spider Island. And we keep continuing the story of stuff that happened in the end of Spider Island and results from it. Um, see more Mary Jane, see that Carly and Peter are not together, which I really like. I, I mean, there might be some Carly and Peter fans out there, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm more, I'm, I never really liked Carly, so I like their friends. I, I mean, I, I just didn't, I guess I didn't like Carly because I always liked MJ and Peter together. But she could be a better character now that uh, she's not with Peter. And I think I'll, I, I think I'll like her a little bit better that they're just friends and they're just helping each other out. So um, I guess we're going to just have to see what happens. And I'm excited again for the story arc. Uh, a lot of good stuff happened in Peter's personal life and in villains to come and stories to come. So definitely a great issue. The only thing I didn't like about this issue was the art. Because we had such great art for... Uh, Spider Island, and it, it, I was actually not expecting different art for the story arc, but you know, it comes out twice a week, so we're gonna have to get different artists sometimes. But I, I didn't really love the art for this issue. 
not as good as the art for Spider Island. So hopefully, I guess with the story arc, we'll be having this art. But, uh, again, not the best art for Spider-Man. But I guess maybe it'll grow on me. We'll have to see what's going on with the art in the next issue. I guess maybe it'll change over time. Who knows? Uh, but still, great issue. I give it four and a half just because I didn't love the art for this issue. And I wasn't too crazy about it. But uh, definitely great issue. Spider-Man's been doing so great, especially with uh, Dan Slott on this. Definitely does a great job with Spider-Man. Did a great job with Spider Island, and I've been loving his run on Spider-Man. Can't wait to see issues that come with his story. Um, so pick this issue up if you haven't been following Spider-Man. This is a great start because it's a new story arc, and if you want, just start following up this story because I know it's gonna be a great story because it's always is Spider-Man always pulls through to make a great story. So. Uh, Especially, I mean, if you like Spider-Man, I think you'll like this. Especially if you like Vulture, you might like this issue. So, I say pick it up. And follow me on Twitter, and you'll get uh, news on video reviews, topic videos, and comic book news, and whatever about my videos, uh, news about my videos. So, follow me, and in the description below, I'll have that link for you. And follow my other channel, Random Situations, on Twitter, which also, on the description below, will have the link for that. So I say pick up this issue, and this was Comic-Con. See you guys.